Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Butter here. We are now uh, we are now just starting uh, the videos for today. And again, apologies if it's uh, a bit late. Um, it's been it's been a busy stretch for like the past couple of weeks or so. A lot of personal stuff going on, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, what's important is that um, we would still be able to upload uh, the videos. All right, so. We got like nine vid uh, nine games for today, right? Nine games. So to kick things off, uh, it'll be the game between Detroit Pistons and Cleveland Cavaliers. And that'll be at around 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given is minus 12.5 and obviously that will be given towards the home team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And before we proceed, let's check on the um, the standings and the rankings of both teams, both belonging to the Eastern Conference. Cleveland Cavaliers, they are at number 4, holding a record of 34 wins and 22 losses. While Detroit Pistons, they are dead last with the record of 14 wins and 41. Alright, so Cleveland Cavaliers, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, both teams had their rest last night, so we can skip that part. In terms of momentum, we got to give it to Cleveland Cavaliers because approaching this game, the Cavs are actually having a three-game winning streak, while the Detroit Pistons, they're actually having back-to-back -back losses. Now, if you guys would want to check on their forms, uh, the Detroit Pistons, they have only won twice out of their last 10 games, while the Cavs, they have won six times out of their last 10 outings. So, Obviously, the form is, is also pointing towards Cleveland Cavaliers, so we got to give the advantage to them. Now, let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Um, uh, Bagley is actually out for Detroit Pistons, while for Cleveland Cavaliers, it's uh, uh, Windler who is out. So, mm, I would have to say that uh, it's, um, it's even Steven, but uh, maybe a slight advantage towards Cleveland Cavaliers uh, regarding... As to who is out, because we all know Bagley is much more valuable as com as compared to uh, Cleveland Swindler. All right, so obviously Cleveland Cavaliers would have a um, a huge advantage over Detroit Pistons. Um, it seems like everything is actually pointing towards their way. They are at home. They got the momentum, um, and Detroit Pistons. They're just I don't know. <laughs> um, they're just a the last team right now in the Eastern Conference and again they are having back-to-back -back losses um, the question here though is whether Cleveland Cavaliers would be able to cover the spread of 12.5 uh, obviously Cleveland Cavaliers is the much bigger team uh, thanks to uh, Jarrett Allen and, um, and Mobley's presence uh, but the Detroit Pistons they might not be that uh, that tall or long but um, you can actually rely on Stewart and um, uh, uh, who's this? Um, their their rookie. Um, what's the name of their rookie? The the seventh the, the seventh footer rookie. Um, what's the name of that rookie? I forgot the name of that guy. Um, Duran. There you go, Jalen Duran. Um, who I like because you know most of his most of his shots are actually dunks, and his field goal percentage is skyrocketing. So, um, those two, Stewart and Duran, um, they are actually uh, um. They are hustlers, man. Um, yeah, again, they might not be as talented and they might not be as uh, big as uh, Allen and Mobley, but again, they are. Uh, they are gonna go out there and give their all. That's why I love. That's why I love watching Detroit Pistons at times. Um, I think the twelve point five spread is just a bit too. Uh, it's just a bit too much. Uh, I feel like Cleveland Cavaliers would actually have a, you know a very good first half, you know, establish a good lead. But um, of course, every now and then they would actually sit their starters down. If you, if I'm a part a part of the coaching staff, I would also try to preserve my starters. You know, I'm my stars. Uh, of course, Donovan Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell, sorry, and uh, the bigs that I have. I'm not gonna give them a lot of you know a lot of playing time on this particular match. 
matchup, especially if we have already if we already have the lead, right? Um, also, um, aside from preserving your start your starters, you are also giving exposure and you know much uh, much uh, experience towards your second or third unit. So, um, I think Detroit Pistons would have a very good um, opportunity for them to act, to at least cover the spread. I'm not really expecting Detroit Pistons to win this one, but at least to cover the spread of 12.5, I'm gonna take my risk and I'm gonna roll my dice with them. My pick would be Detroit plus 12.5. Again, that's Pistons plus 12.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.